Hi, this is a matter of expectations, realistic expectations. Now, when we get a rescue dog, and if you watch um, in one of the last segments, Varro, the big pit bull male, he's not a bad dog. He found himself in the middle of all those running dogs. They were all running around. He didn't even know what to do. That's not aggression. That's confusion, a little bit of fear. But he, he's not aggressive. Unfortunately, when you have a dog that's very intense, does not walk on a lead, we begin expecting him to act in a predictable way. When we get into that pattern and expect him to act a certain way every time, he will. He is not going to change unless our expectations for him change or our practices change. Because he is the reflection of the lifestyle he lives. So it's interesting because when Varro is tied on a short lead, Varro's wonderful. Fargo got right in his face and Varro didn't have a problem. And yet, when he's walked into this training room or walked out of the training room, he is kind of all over the place. He wears a shock collar and the mistake has been that he's gotten the shock with no command, with no reassurance, and with no praise. So therefore, God comes out of the sky and zaps him. He has no idea what he's being really zapped for because unless there's training that goes along with it, he doesn't know that anybody even wants him to change. Now the problem with this is his owner doesn't weigh much more than he does. So how do you teach a dog to be softer, to be less intense, to be calmer, to be lower key, unless you can correct it? He isn't going to pay attention to food. You aren't going to get his attention that way because he basically has a fear of the other dogs. So our goal is to use equipment. My rule with equipment or with training is there should be no struggle. There should be the ability of even a child to do the training. Not just someone who's physically strong. What good does that do you? So it can't be dependent on your physical strength pitted against that animal. It also can't be bribery and it can't be his choice. It's my choice. And in that way, we're going to get this dog to stop doing what he's doing. I mean, it's this. It's no different than any other training we do. Now, if we gave Varro a head start, he's going to hit the end of this thing and rip the snap right off. So we're going to shorten him up so he can't get really a good head start. All right. I've taken Thomas Edison away. Because if, if you carry that and you struggle at all, the first thing you're going to do is go right back to what you know. We've got to take the shot collar off the table because it is not our goal to walk around for the rest of his life zapping him with a shot collar. I believe the shot collar has become a crutch. It is an easy out if you're not feeling up to working with this dog or fighting with this dog. And that's what happens when you use physical strength instead of communication. Now, Joan has timing. She's very good with horses, very good with dogs. And her timing is very quick. She's worked some tough ones. She's not very big. I don't blame her at all. But when we're getting... One, a dog that acts one way in one situation and another way in another situation, we know there's communication gap. Easy. Talk to him. 
Good, easy. Good, easy. Hi, Burrow. Good boy. Good, easy. Easy. Keep talking to him, Joe. Good boy. Easy. Okay. Call him. Here. Burrow, here. Pull. Here. Tell him wait when you're getting it. Good, wait. Now look. You wait. Good. Now look at how sensitive this dog is on the lead. It didn't take anything and he quit. That's how good he actually is. But he's so used to being free to make a decision, he doesn't know how to take a command. Hey, now don't. Well, that's mine. Thank you. I was hoping that she could get him. Um, the thing came untied, so it's an equipment failure. Joe. Now just knock it off. Good. So when we start incorporating this dog out with other dogs, he's already shown us. He doesn't want to be aggressive to other dogs. He's proven that to us in that video. Okay, you step out. That's it. All you're going to do is acknowledge when he does something good, but don't do... I mean, we can't have mixed loyalties. Look at this dog devoted to her. Come on, babe. Easy. Good job. Get out of the way. Easy. He doesn't spend enough time on a lead. How can he know how to be? Easy. Good job. Tell him he's good. Good boy. Oops. Bro, come on. Come on. Come on. Wait. Oh, good wait. You wait. Easy. Good, easy. Good, easy. Not commands all the time. He's got to have praise. He's got to get a paycheck or there's no reason to work. Hey, now you be easy. Nobody likes you when you're nuts. Good. Easy. Come on, you little crazy dog. Good boy. Come on, girl. Come on. Come on. Wait. Oh, good wait. Good wait. Ah, leave it. Mine. That is mine. Leave it. Mine. We have got to be able to show him we are more powerful than him. We are not dependent on God coming out of the sky and zapping him. We are powerful. Good. So at some point, you've got to prove a little bit of physical ability. It can't be something else, because when that something else is gone, you're an up crick. Easy. Every time I do this, I reinforce the fact that I am more powerful than he is. It's all about control. Okay, that's enough. And don't talk to him anymore. He's mine. Come on. Hey. Come on. Wait. Good. Wait. Good job. Good. Easy. Good job. Good. Wait. Look at you. He needs to learn how to let you come up to him without jumping. Easy. Good job. By using the double lines with the cue bones, you can't do this with anything else. You, easy. It's a bite. If he chooses to be stupid, I can bite him. They're pulled in opposite directions, it's a bite. Easy. Good job. He just wants to know that you're strong enough to be a leader. Easy. Don't. Good. Good job. Come on, bro. Come on. Wait. Beautiful. Look at you wait. Good job. If he's getting that much pay for doing this, 
I'm gonna do this good. This is pretty good. Good wait. You wait. Good. Good wait. Come on, baby. Come on. Wait. Wait. Leave it. Thank you. I have all the power in the world. Wait. Thank you. I can get in his face. He can't do anything. Good. Easy. Good job. Easy. Good. Now, I become much more trustworthy because God is not, has backed away a little bit, and he has nothing to fear. Good, easy. Come on. Come on. Wait. Beautiful wait. Good job. So our whole demeanor takes on a much calmer tone. Good wait. What a good boy. Hey, what a good boy. You all oh, good, easy, good, settle. With a good leader in charge, he no longer has to fear. Until there's a leader, he has no way to know if he's safe or not. He doesn't understand our world. It makes zero sense to him. Now we have Mary. Not totally, but <laughs> kind of he's pretending. You be easy, Barrow. You wait. I don't have to beat him up. I don't have to holler at him. I don't have to worry about him. He's where he needs to be. What a good wait. Look at you, Jeff. Good job. Simply by having two cute colors on his dog, I have all the control I could ever want in this situation. What's the next step? Easy. In here, he's feared. Okay. You're fine. Good boy. That's not necessary. Because the training has to progress. Now this collar's too tight too. So when it's digging in all the time, it becomes a pressure. Easy. Well, I guess you're going to have to get that because it's sore. That's why it's touching with the collar. I'm going to let you unbuckle that. Now, anytime you're messing around a dog's neck, huh, that's life and death. So I'm going to let you come. Oh, we got a little long here. Um, we need to let out that orange collar one notch. Barrow, knock it off. Don't say sit. Tell him easy. Give him a shake. Easy. There. Or pull on that. Enough. Tell him to knock it off. Now this is what happens when the only correction has been a tough one. He doesn't understand anything Wait. else. You wait. Sst. Wait. And then there has to be a consistency in the commands and the corrections. So if Joan is saying words that she used to say, he's going to go back to the way he used to be. Our goal is to change much. Take a hold of the line. Not, don't take the collar. Take the line. Pull, step away. Step away. That's it. Longer. Leave it. Thank you. Easy. Good. Okay, now we're going to bring him in just a little bit so I can take a little bit of a off. Pull it. Pull. You knock it off. Off. It's just loud talk. Should be being hurt? We don't have to feel sorry for this dog. He's making a mistake. We have to call.
call him on it. Well, where did he fail? You bet. He likes physical activity. This is a prize fighter. This is a gladiator. I don't bother him. Come on, you big hairy dog. Come on. Easy. Good dog. If I were a little child, Evie, you Evie. Good, Evie. Don't. Easy. Now you need to not sneak around. Talk to him if you're going to walk past him. You be easy. There you go. Because otherwise it becomes competition for attention. We're going to do that. This dog needs to listen to whoever says. Don't. You knock it off. Okay, you're not giving him commands anymore. Good. Is it wrong? Why, why am I telling her not to give commands? She's saying the right commands. Because I want this dog to be able to work for somebody else besides Joan. We need this dog to understand that he has value with other people, not just one handler. So if I were in a wheelchair, if Joan had surgery, come on, easy. Don't. David? Easy. You're fine, Zach. Even if Good I am boy. not above him, boy. I need to be able to handle him, not physical strength. Easy. I'm a crazy dog. Wait. Hi there. Nice to see you. Your dog isn't loose. Oh, no. Turn it. Easy. Come on, little crazy dog. Wait. Hi there. He has no right to go to the door. He has the responsibility to pay attention to me. Not worry about who's walking around. Don't. This is all part of it. Good. What's the biggest nightmare with a dog like this? A loose dog. Right? Hi, Nancy. Nancy's getting nervous over here. Well, you're going to be. Yeah. Uh oh. I'm sorry, Nancy. I really am. No. I mean, what's your biggest fear that I would hand the lead to you? Easy. No, don't. Yeah. Step away. Don't even look. Don't get near it. Okay. Don't. Come on, dog. Come on. Easy, Varro. Good Easy. boy. Come now, on. he's looking for backup from me. Good boy. Boy. That's it. Come on. Good boy. That's it. Varro, you're Back fine. Up. You're fine. Good boy. Good boy. Can I do a W-A-I-T? Oh, um, yeah. Wait. Good wait. Good boy, Not touch it on the head. Now, you've got that black thing. Good boy. boy. You've got that black thing on your wrist. That's the complication with that. He's it, bothering him. See there? Yeah. Could be a tongue toy. Yep. You've got to back up, Bill. they got to be able to walk past you with this dog. Come on. You can't crowd it. Come on. Good boy. Okay. Hand the, hand the lead to Zana. Tell him to wait. Wait. Good Easy. boy. Okay. Easy. This is power, okay? Good boy. You need power. This. Good boy. Okay? Now you talk to him. Really? Because if you don't talk you to him, settle. he knows you're not powerful. Settle. Okay. There you go. Talk to him just like you these. be easy. So come on, dog. Come on, dog. That's it. Go. Good boy. That's it. Do a snuffy lead just to shave. That's perfect. Good boy. Go the other way. Come on, dog. Come Good back. boy. Hey, you easy. Now, if you need to pull on that, just okay, pull that. Settle. You easy. Good boy. Good boy. 
Good job, Faro. Very nice. Good boy. Just like you did with Z. Good boy. That's beautiful. Good job, Zana. Good boy, Faro. No okay, Marianne wants to go to the stairs, Zana. Don't stare at him. Right. He growled at him. No, wait. Wait. Settle. Now, rem okay, now, just remember that when we're standing above him and we're staring at him, that is challenging him. So, although we can look at him, now, you're in charge. Okay. All right. Good job. Okay, you go. Okay. Just don't come on. All right, Barrow, come on. Let this drag if you want to trip on it. Oh, boy. Good, Good boy. boy. Good job, Barrow. Easy. 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 Let me, be easy. Let me tighten that up just a bit. Okay. Wait. Wait. Good wait. Good boy. Good far. There you go. Good far. Good boy. Far away. Wait. You have. You wait. You wait. Good, Good wait. wait. Good boy. And you far. don't have to look away. I mean, you wouldn't look away from an employee. Right. Well, I was looking straight. I understand that, but you, you're going to keep track of them, of course. <laughs> okay, Barrow, let's go. Come on. Good boy. Okay, go the other way. Good, Barrow. Come on, let's go this way. Good. Hey, easy. You got to switch that lead to the other hand. Good, easy. There you go. Good boy. Okay, find somebody else that wants to walk in. Everybody wants to walk in. <laughs> kind of fun. It is. <laughs> Especially when you know he can't do a thing. Good boy, Barrow. Good boy. All right, come on. Don't come on. Good job. Good boy. Boys, uh, he has no oh, right boy. to approach the boss and want to do an interview with the boss. Wait. Wait the other way. Oh, Wait. beautiful. Wait. Wait. Good boy. Easy. Now, if he starts pulling towards you or starts looking like that, you take about two steps away from him and you tell him to knock it off and be easy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Wait. Good. Wait. Good boy. Good boy. All right, find somebody else that wants to walk in. I think Nancy wants to walk in. Wait. Beautiful. Wait. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy, Barrow. Easy. Easy, Easy Barrow. Good boy. Turn your hand over this 
Now, there you go. Okay, yeah. that's good. Okay, talk to him like a boss. Come on, Barrow. Okay, quit looking at it. Let's go, Barrow. Good that's boy. It. Stay out of way Come from on, the circle. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good Stay boy. out of way from good. the circle. Wait. There. Good boy, Bill. <laughs> good boy, Barrow. Now, a dog has to work for whatever boss happens to be in charge, isn't that correct? Look at your dog breaking at you. Yeah. Are you Easy, Willie. Willie. Are you working for him or is he working for you? He's working. Come on, Barrow. Barrow, leave it. Get him. Leave it. There you go. Good boy. Good leave it. Good leave it. What is that? Good boy. Barrow, leave it. Leave what? That's what I need. There's anything to leave. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with you. But cool. Easy. Take it out of my way. Good. Off. This is any pushy dog. Yep. Off. Nice job. Come on. Get up. Good. Off. Good job. Look at how cute you are. Get up here. Wait. Leave it. Now you just wait. Oh, it's Bill. Go ahead and eat him. <laughs> it's none of his darn business. If I want somebody to come in here, it's none of his business. It's none of his business. That's right. Okay. So by having a line attached to something, we can walk almost to the door. You wait, Barrow. I said wait. Hi, come on. Oh, no, we don't need anything today. Thank you very much. I said we don't need anything today. Barrow, you want to have a talk with him? <laughs> oh, big left, by the way. <laughs> what has he done? Nothing. I'm the aggressive one. He's not. Good boy. Good. Good. Trust me. Because the factor that's been constant through all everybody else walking him has been me. I've been talking to him. I've been praising him, reminding him. I've established myself as leader. Come on, short man. Hey, easy. Working a pit bull is not any big deal if you've got respect. If you don't, he is a lot of dog. Come on, babe. Good boy. But we want the attitude of walking on the lead to be this rather than that, and there's no word for it other than violence. That rough, intense play. He doesn't know how not to play. Except God determines. Well, no. God doesn't really care about you. This dog is, teaches us to really be a leader. Come on. Now, by leaving that line on, if I got into trouble, I would hope someone in this room... We grab that one. <coughs> and then we would stretch his little neck out, and he would learn not to challenge me. But if I maintain the same attitude that we had on that double line, so will he. Come on. Get up here. Nobody likes you. There's been a female in heat. <laughs> Too bad about him. You know what? He's got to be in the world. That's half the people. Come on, get up here. Wait. Hey. Thank you. Good. Wait. Good. My demeanor cannot change. So if I've taught him to work with rough, taking him off that corner, he says, okay, I know the rule's here. 
Come on, bro. Come on. I said, come on. Good dog. Good job. You will learn more from training a dog like this than any other breed. Because of the power. You cannot get into a power struggle. He'll beat you. No different than that light one. Same, same brain. <coughs> same brain. Good boy. Isn't that pretty? Truthfully, if he decided he didn't like somebody in this room and he took off, I'd have a heck of a time holding him. And that's when you see the big guns come out. The cue collar forces you to learn to communicate. That's what the cue collar is. Good boy. Teach the dog. The dog already knows this. I haven't had to teach him anything. You, I still struggle with. Because we try to, we try to fit the dog into our world. The dog is a foreign speaking employee, so if he came from Russia, he doesn't have a clue what you're talking about. It's your actions that speak louder than words. It's not the dog that has to learn. He knew how to sit when he was born. He knew how to lay down when he was born. He knew how to do all that. We have to teach him what to be intense about. So when somebody got him, they played rough with him. He learned that that was the interaction with people. Well, sure enough. So all the correction in the world is not going to help him understand that there's supposed to be a different way. It ain't going to happen. How could he possibly know? Okay. And it can tear you when he's confronting a three-year-old. No, my three-year-old can take a ball out of his Yeah. These dogs were not bred to be aggressive to people. They were gladiators. They were the pets. They were the farm dogs. Then they went because nobody had any money, you walk to the pit on Saturday night, you have a dog fight. If this dog was aggressive to people, they would have killed him. He's not to be aggressive to people. We teach them to be aggressive. And many times, it's the professionals that actually teach, because they got this dog on a short, tight line, trying to outpower him. Well, good luck with that. You try to put a treat in front of his nose and try, oh, I beg your pardon. And take your hand, the treat, and then he'll go do what he wants to do anyway. This dog had the potential to be one of those dogs that was feared. Big time. And when Joan first walked in here, and I will say it again, I give her a ton of credit for sticking with this dog. And the reason she stuck with him is because at home she saw so much potential. There's a reason you keep a dog like this around. But when you come to a class, he doesn't know how to behave because you're changing the environment. I really, I mean, I've been doing a lot of thinking about this because I watched that video of Varro and Mary, and I could have cried because after that, I, when I corrected him and he reacted so violently, I knew we needed to start working on him. Um, you can't leave a dog in the same situation and expect that he's going to progress. He actually will lose ground. And that's what has been happening. So because we've been kind of, or that's me, we've had so many other things to do, we've avoided getting him out here in the center and re-picking up where we started. Because we started out playing around with him. But he wasn't ready for it then. He's ready for it now. Your lot in life will be walking around circles. Good. Now, that's a dilemma because she's most of the time taking pictures. So, would that mean that we all are going to have to take turns? Yeah. But if you can handle this pit bull, I'll guarantee you that will prove nothing. And it makes you a better handler. So, Marianne, last night in class, we kind of had this same thing. Percy's doing great. He's 10 months old. He's doing fantastic. 
But, and because of that, Marianne is really believing she's got it all going right away. She does, except for Percy was to this level of maturity, and I could quite get this. So last night I gave Marianne a dog that was trained, and she went to walking Fargo the way she walks Percy. Fargo wasn't doing bad. In fact, Marianne thought he was doing really good. I said, that's not the way that dog knows. And I put him into work mode, and he goes, whoa! Man, he's good. Because her, her level of expectation was too low for Fargo, but it was also getting too low for Percy. But it's hard to know when that happens because you need to put more demands on them, just like a kid. So when they're in third grade, you got some demands. When they get to high school, they better not be third grade demands or you got a problem. Definitely not that area. Now, a little dog we pick up, put in another room, tie it up, put it in a crate. This dog right here was going to be shot because she was so dog aggressive. She is now my choice to come out here when I'm working with dogs. That's rehabilitation. So our goal is to be this dog's hero and to be his leader, not to be his friend. There's got to be a leader. There's no equals in a pack. Hey, Barrow, come on. Our goal is that he chooses to please for it. Why not?